yourself YouTube. It is Vlogoween Day Dos. So right now I'm in art class. I am wearing my apron and my stuff, my apron because I don't want to get paint on me. So today we are painting bugs for Halloween, like Halloween themed. So I wanted to give you guys like a time lapse of my painting. I'm about to go back into class. Look at all of these paintings. All right, I'm about to stop now because I'm gonna go back into class. I'll meet you guys in there. Right, guys and this is my Halloween painting so it's all done so right here is a little skull this is what I painted so it looks like that and then right here is the spider this is what I painted right here and then right there is the fly it's only the wings though but this right here is what I painted and they kind of look identical I think my teacher will be satisfied so, comment down below and let me know what you guys think about my painting. Hey guys, so my class is over. I'm taking home my paintings that I did already and then I'm going to my next class. My teacher, he didn't talk to me the whole entire day because he was like, at the end, I was wondering and then in the end he was like, because you were doing so well, I didn't even want to critique you or talk to you because I didn't want you to mess it up or anything. So, he didn't talk to me the whole class period because he didn't want to make me lose my concentration. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go into my next class. So, I'll see you guys when I get out. So, I'm back at home now. And um, I want to go get some lunch. I wanted to get some sushi today. But um, my phone is about to die. So, I don't want to go out and my phone is dead. So, I'm going to... Let my phone charge a minute. While my phone's charging, I'm gonna do some homework and watch, you know, the Kardashians until um, it charges, at least get to like 70 at the least. And then I'm gonna go out and eat some sushi. I kind of wanted to do like a, a mukbang today. What do you call that, mukbang, mukbang? I want to do one of those today. And just, you know, talk to you guys. Um, so that you guys can know some of my peace of mind. All right, guys. So my phone is all charged and stuff. So now I'm finna go um, to get some sushi. When I come back, I'm really finna take a nap because I'm so freaking tired. Like I just want to change it to my pajamas and go to sleep. And I am here, hibachi and sushi. All right, guys. So now I'm here. I'm sitting down now. 
Um, I'm just waiting on my order. Um, I had got, um, you know, I don't really eat sushi like that. I don't eat dead fish. I mean, raw fish. I don't eat raw fish like that. So I just got some California rolls, like I usually do. So here's my food. I got California rolls, like I said. And maybe I could talk about having a millionaire mindset. When I get to the certain age, right, right now I'm still young and I'm still trying to, you know, find myself and do a lot of things. So I'm not really too concerned about it right now. But, you know, when I get older and I graduate college and stuff, I want to, you know, have more than one income. If you notice, most millionaires have more than one income. For example, like... Everybody always asks me, why do you look up to Kylie Jenner so much? And because she's only 20, 21 years old. Well, she's 22 now, but she was 20, she was 21 years old when she was on the cover of Forbes magazine for being the youngest self-made billionaire. Like, of course she had keeping up the Kardashians and stuff, but she could have just stayed with keeping up the Kardashians and be like, this is just how I'm going to make my money. For example, like Courtney. But no, she didn't do that. She took what she had and she doubled it, tripled it, and quadrupled it. And now she's a freaking billionaire. Like, and I always say, like, people young shouldn't have kids and stuff, but I, if you got your shit together like Kylie, why, why wait, you know? I mean, I'm going to wait till I get married, but... When I get out of high school, I mean, when I get out of college, I'm trying to be as stable as possible. Like, people be like living, I just seen on Facebook and stuff, people supposed to be like, well, my bill was, let's, for example, um, $1,500 and so I'm finna pay some bills and have ice cream for dinner. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. Or they be like, my bill's paid, so that's all that matters. Or they be like, I got two jobs. To me? That's not nothing to brag about, like, I don't want to have two jobs. I don't want to have ice cream for dinner because that's all I could afford. And I hope I never have to live like that. Like my, my goal is to be as financially stable as possible. Like not only for me, but for my children. When I decide to have them, and you just can't have more than one income. More, more, most millionaires and billionaires they don't have just one income. Like I see too many people complain and be like, I only make um, what nine dollars an hour. And that's not enough to live off of. That's and that's minimum wage, and we should be able to live off that. Um, okay, if you see that, that's a problem. Why don't you do something to fix it? Stop, make your money work for you. Don't work for your money, make your money work for you. Like, it's just too many people that I see that's okay with that. But me? I'm not. So I'm gonna fix it to where I don't have to work like that. I don't wanna be a slave. My slavery years are over. I'm not gonna be a slave. Oh my god, this sushi is freaking nasty. But I'm still gonna eat it because I paid for it. And this is the only sushi I eat, so it's not like I can be like, can I get a different, get different um, thing. So I just gotta live with it. It's not even at the club, but it's just the rice don't got no flavor. This is actually the worst sushi I've ever had in my life. So now I'm finna go to Chicago Beauty because I have to get some more hair. Cause you see my, the outsides of my hair is just like getting bad. So now I have to redo them. Cause my new growth is really showing. 
So now I gotta get a new, um, I gotta get another hair pack. Yeah, that sushi place was just very, like, not it. I would never go back there. But <clears throat> I'm just gonna go to the regular one that I usually go to. <clears throat> so now I'm just looking for expression. Oh, they gonna sell for $3.99. That's a sale? Okay. Heck, I think I'm gonna do the tank line because the one that I got in my hair now is tank line. By the way, the worst braiding hair ever, so don't ever get it. So I'm gonna get tank line, and then next time I do my hair, I'm gonna get expression. I'm gonna just stick with expression. That's why I get for changing up hairs. All right, so guys, I just came out of the beauty supply store, and the weirdest thing is, is I bought a nose ring, like the hoop one, because. I always wanted to get my nose pierced, but I was always chicken because of the piercing part. And I never wanted to do it because I was always scared. So I figured maybe I could probably put it on to make it look like my nose is pierced and have a ring right there to where I can like take it on and off whenever I want to. Let me see if I can find it. It's somewhere in here. Here it is. It's in here. It's gold. I wish it didn't have that diamond thing on it, but whatever. I'ma just put it on. This shit looks stupid as fuck. So this has made me realize that I would not look right with my nose pierced. <laughs> Hey guys, so I didn't do anything really, nothing else today, except just watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So I'm finna, after I woke up from my nap, of course. So I'm finna just close out the vlog. So it is now the end of Vlogoween day two, and I will see you guys in Vlogoween day three. Thank you for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And... Adios. Bye.